What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So today at Mobile World Congress, Samsung unveiled their two new Galaxy flagship devices, the Samsung Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge. Both of these new phones are packed with lots of new things, so let's take a look at the top six new features. So of course, the first new feature of these Galaxy S6 devices is the design. Samsung has finally ditched the cheap plastic build that they have been criticized over and over for, and instead these new phones have a more premium metal and glass build. The phone consists of a unibody metal frame that extends all the way around the edges of the device, as well as a new Gorilla Glass 4 back panel. The bezel of the phone is also a bit thinner as well. Of course, with this new higher quality design, you do have some trade-offs. The back panel is no longer removable, which means the battery can't be changed out and SD cards can't be added. The S6 and S6 Edge are also no longer water resistant either. For a lot of hardcore Samsung fans, the new premium design has come at a pretty big cost, but it's nice to see Samsung responding to the critics and heading down the road of making premium built devices. The next big feature of the S6 is the screen. The Galaxy S6 has a 5.1 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display with a 2560 by 1440 resolution giving it 576 pixels per inch which is 30% more than the S5. The screen is also 30% brighter which should make daytime viewing even better. Of course we can't forget about the unique screen on the Galaxy S6 Edge which curves to the left and right side edge of the device. Now the curve doesn't add any extra screen real estate, it's essentially the same size. But the special curved edges on the S6 Edge will add a few new features like the ability to pull up favorite contacts and the ability to see who's calling while the phone is face down due to a specific color light shining on the edge of the screen. Now obviously these features aren't amazing or groundbreaking, but it'll be interesting to see what else Samsung adds to utilize that curved display. Both Samsung devices also have some pretty big improvements to their internals. The Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge both pack Samsung's 64-bit 8-core Xenos processor along with 3GB of RAM. That means the S6's first four cores are clocked at 2.1GHz and the second four cores clocked at 1.5GHz. Although we haven't seen any Geekbench tests yet, these components should put the S6 on the upper edge of the fastest and most powerful smartphones. Storage-wise, Samsung offers 32, 64, or 128 GB options, and like I said earlier, storage is no longer expandable. Of course, all of these upgrades to the internals would be for naught if the Galaxy S6 didn't have great software to go along with it. So the S6 ships with Android 5.0 Lollipop, as well as revamped TouchWiz. Samsung announced there would be 40% less bloatware and crapware shipped with TouchWiz, and although you still get some crappy apps and things you may not want, less stuff cluttering up the phone should make for a quicker and snappier feel. In regards to the battery, the S6 packs a 2550mAh battery, and the S6 Edge has a slightly larger 2600mAh battery. Now while the batteries are good, it's the features that come along with them that make them great. The phone comes standard with wireless charging, as well as a new super quick charging feature. The Galaxy S6 can charge at one and a half times faster than the S5, and can also get up to four hours of use from just 10 minutes of charging. The cameras have also seen some slight improvements on both devices. While the rear camera has the same 16 megapixel resolution that was on the S5, the sensor and lens have been greatly improved. The f1.9 aperture on the rear camera captures more light, which means better pictures and video in low light. The camera also has optical image stabilization to help combat blurry pictures, IR detected white balance, and auto HDR, which is also available on the front camera. The front camera is 5 megapixels with f1.9 aperture as well. All these improvements should yield even better pictures from the S6 and S6 Edge, which were already really great on the S5. The final big thing Samsung announced in their S6 presentation was Samsung Pay. Similar to Apple Pay, Samsung allows you to use your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge along with the improved fingerprint sensor to pay for your purchases. In addition to standard NFC which has been around for a while, Samsung Pay includes MST, or Magnetic Secure Transmission, which is a similar technology seen on the magnetic strip found on credit cards. This means that unlike Apple Pay which is slowly accepting more and more retailers and NFC that is only specific to some terminals, Samsung Pay should be compatible with over 90% of retailers right from the very beginning. So there you go, those are six of the biggest features Samsung announced with their Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge press conference. The S6 and S6 Edge will be available worldwide on April 10th, and Samsung has yet to announce pricing, but it's safe to say the S6 Edge will be a little more expensive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys later.